Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. In this video we're going to cover a new feature of WordPress 3.1 that makes it very easy for us to create internal links from one page or post in our site to another page or post in our site. And to start us off here we have a, a blog article that we've created and what we'd like to do is because in this article we're going to mention another blog article that we wrote on which sort of covered a similar subject what we'd like to do is we'd like to create a link between the two now the simplest way to do that is to simply click on edit post uh, again you need to be in WordPress 3.1 in order to see this admin bar at the top once we click on edit post takes us directly to the post or page that we are currently viewing so that we can edit it. Now for this particular link what we'd like to do is we'd like to select some link text or anchor text that is meaningful and maybe has a few keywords in it as well and in this case we're going to select this piece of text. Uh, once we've selected it you can see that our uh, link icon at the top row is not grayed out anymore so if we click on that it brings up this window here which you're probably familiar with and what most people do is they simply insert their text or their hyperlink into this area here and if you are trying to link from an internal page on your site what you would have to do is first go to that page copy its permalink and then come back here and paste it into place but that's not necessary anymore with WordPress 3.1. You can see down here we have an option to link to existing content and if we click on this disclosure triangle to the left you can see that down below we have all of our articles both pages and posts listed here. We can scroll down actually you see there's quite a few that are available to us and if we had so many articles that we couldn't possibly find them all we could also do a very quick search using a keyword and that would show us any of the related posts that we want. Once you have what you're looking for all you need to do is click on it and you can see up above that it has added that link text in there for us automatically. Now if we want to we can choose to open this link in a new window or tab. If you leave this unchecked it's just simply going to take you straight away to that that linked page without opening a new browser tab and once you're done with that just click on add link and here you can see we've added the link to our page the last thing you need to make sure to do is click on update to make sure that you save all of the changes for that page and then we're going to go ahead and view this post and if we scroll down we can see that yes indeed we have our link here and if we click on it it takes us immediately to the other article where we cover baking in bulk. So just as simple as that, it's quite easy to create internal links within your site without too much trouble. Thank you for watching and have a great day.